Welcome to today's workout. Today is a HIT workout. You're going to need a bench, some weights, and a mat. Today we're going to do three songs for cardio. Then we're going to do three songs of strength training for lower body only. And then we'll do two songs of abs. Let's stay behind the bench. We may use it for the warm up. But let's just start with the march in place. I gotta get my body warmed up. It's cold in here. Alright, a few more marches and then we're just going to do a step touch. Alright, so step touch and reach and pull with those arms. Alright, a few more of these and then we're just going to end up adding a hand curl to these. In four, three, two, add that hand curl. All right, just a few more of these, and we're going to do that step touch again. Four, three, two, step touch. Bend those knees a little bit more. Start to get a little lower. We're going to go back to that march in four, three, two, back to our march. Try to lift those knees a little higher those arms a little harder. All right, give me four more. Three, two, modified jumping jack. Tap those legs out to the side. You could bring your arms all the way overhead. My jacket kind of doesn't allow me to do that. <laughs> it's kind of tight in the shoulders. So I'm just going halfway. Let's go for eight more on each side. Seven. Six. Five. Four. And three. And two. One more. All right, let's set up for a squat. Take those feet about shoulder distance apart. I don't know if I told you, but the uh, strength part today is going to be lower body only. And then I figure on Friday, we kind of do the same thing, and then we'll make strength upper body. Four more. Three. Two. And one. All right, bring the feet right underneath those hips. Hands on the hips. We're going to come into a good morning. Squeeze it up. Good bend to those knees. And just four more. Three, two, and one. All right. It's going to be three, two, one, go. But I'm going to back it up. Three. Just a hair. Oops. Three, two. So back it up a hair so I can tell you what's coming up. All right. Side to side lunges on the bench or on the floor is going to be the first move. And we're going to alternate that with reverse lunges, excuse me, off the bench. So it'll be side to side to begin. Second move, just tapping it back. That's it, 30 seconds of work, 15 second rest in between. All right, let's get ready for those side to side lunges. Three, two, one, hit it. They don't wait today, they're ready to go. So just making sure that that knee and toe is facing the same direction. Of course, the more risers you add to today's cardio section, the harder it's going to be. Got it. March it out on top. And then we're just going to turn forward. We're going to tap those feet. 
behind us on the floor. Three, two, one. Here we go. Keeping a good bend to those knees. Those quads working. You got it. You can add a little power to these as well. You want to push off that foot. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, march on top. All right, side to side lunges again. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Now, if you want to add in the arms, you could alternate, cross it over the body. You could even bring both arms up at the same time. Get that heart rate up even more. Whatever is feeling good to you today. Three, two, one. Woo, yes, march on top. Tapping those legs back. Round number four. Two, one, let's go. Good, good. Popping those arms. Go, keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, march on top. All right, one more of each. And then we're moving on. Three, two, one, let's go. Land nice and soft. Almost there. Three, two, Woo. one. Yes. All right, march it out. One more. Tap it to the back. Two, one, let's go. Working hard to the end of our thirty seconds. Ooh, yes. All right. Coming up next. Grab some water if you need, need to. We're going to do one corner knee, step off of the bench, and then do one jumping jack. We're going to alternate sides. So it's just the one knee, one jumping jack, and then we switch. Second round we do two, third round we do three. And then we'll just take it back to the top. We'll do one, two, three. You can also modify those jumping jacks. And of course, you can do everything on the floor. All right, let's get ready. We got about, I can't read it, but I think we have about five seconds, six seconds, something like that. Maybe 10. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so one knee. And one jumping jack. Try to find a good rhythm. Try to stay close enough to that bench so that when you step back up, that full foot, your whole foot gets on top of that bench. Good. 
Good, march it out. All right, two and two. Two of everything. Three, no. A little off today. Three, two, there we go. One, go. Two knees. Two jumping jacks. Try to make sure that the knees and the toes are going the same direction in your jumping jacks. You don't have to take the legs super wide so that the knees aren't caving in. You want to push them out. Woo! March it out. All right, three and three. Keep moving in between. Three, two, one. Come on. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Obviously, my timing is off today. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the cold weather. Ooh. It's frozen my brain. Three, two, one, press. Woo! Okay. We're right back to the top. One and one. One and one. Three, two, one. Here we go. go. And remember, you can modify if that's working better for you. Two and two. I am feeling it in my calves today. Yes. Three, two, one. Let's go. go. On your double knees. Try to keep that knee bent on the bench. Try not to bounce. Making. Those quads and those glutes work a little bit more. Woo, come on. I gotta modify my jacks now. My calves are burning. Woo, all right, three and three. Three and three. Did a lot of jumping yesterday, so my calves are feeling it. All right, here we go. Three knees, three jumping jacks. Yes, yes. Modify if you need to. And of course, those modifications, you could just do three tap outs to the side. You could do full, three full ones, so six times on each side. Whatever works. Whatever works. Oh, yes. All right, grab a little water if you need it. On the next move, we're going to be straddling the bench. Bring it a little forward. So we're going to straddle an alternated knee drive. So you'll straddle, step up, knee drive, straddle, and it should alternate you. The second one, we're going to do a kick instead. Straddle, kick, straddle, kick. And on the third one, we're gonna go back to the knees. We're gonna add a little bit of rotation in with it, trying to drive that knee and that elbow to each other. And then the second round will start with the kicks, and then that same thing on the last one, we'll try to rotate into those kicks. All right, for now, we're just gonna march it out. So alternating knee drives. Three, two, one. So just bring the knee, knee straight up. No rotation yet, unless you want to. But for now, just driving the knee up and straddle. Try to get nice and tall here, get that core engaged, pull those shoulder blades together, look 
forward, top of the head going towards that ceiling. Three, two, one, press. Woo, okay. Now we're just doing the kicks, kicking straight forward, kicking straight forward. If the kicking doesn't work again today, just stick with your knees. Just depending on how tight those hamstrings are, these kicks will help get warmed up a little bit. Just keep it low. And when it starts to feel good, you can kick a little higher. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel it in those glutes. Yes. All right, going back to the knee drives, but we're going to add in that rotation. Knee towards the elbow. Getting those abs in there a little more. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Rotate. Whatever speed rhythm works for you. Watch my doggy. I have a muffin by my computer. <laughs> and he knows it's up there. He's trying to figure out where it's at. He's pretty good about not jumping up on things. All right, we're going to go back to the kicks. On these, the kicks are just straight, straight forward. Here we go. Kick straight forward. Okay, we're back to the knee drives. Just keeping the knees forward. All right. Drive that knee up as high as you can. Maybe take your hands up towards your chest. See if you can meet that knee up there. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Yes. Okay, we got the straight leg kicks. This time we're going to try to rotate and reach towards that opposite toe. Get some rotation in the upper body. Exhale as you kick that leg up and rotate. And if you can only touch the knee, then you only touch the knee. Maybe you go to the shin. Ooh, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, this is our last cardio song. Ooh, okay. You're going to need weights for this next part, and of course you can do body weight. It's all lower body. We have squats with curtsies, uh, and I think we're going to do an uneven squat with our bench, or you can do a squat on the floor. Then we're going to come to the floor, we're going to squat, alternate curtsies, and then we're going to do the uneven squat on the other side, and then we'll just repeat that again. We have lunges, Ooh. and then we have deadlifts, alternating with calf raises. So, to kind of think about what weight you'd like to have for all of that. We're going to start with our uneven squat. I'm going to start with my left foot up on the bench. I have had this kettlebell, oh, for a couple of years, I think. Don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> I was like, we use it as a doorstop. I'm like, why am I not using this in my 
Three, two, All right. one, go! <laughs> so, uneven squat. I wish I had the smaller ones. This is really large. Maybe that's why I don't use it. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we want to try to stay as center as we can in our squats here. Push those knees out. Feet should be just a little bit wider than the shoulders, or at least shoulder distance. Three, two, one, press. Yes. All right, come behind your bench. You're going to squat and then alternate curtsies. Hello, where'd you come from? All right, squat, alternate curtsies. Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh. I think I did some glute work yesterday. Oh. Maybe we should have done upper body. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Making sure that the hips and the shoulders stay forward and your curtsies just take that leg diagonal. Ooh, yeah. Okay, uneven squat. Other side. Ooh, I'm out of the screen, but I'm still here. Three, two, one, go! Alright, here we go. Almost there. Three, two, one, press. Yes. Okay, we're back to the top. Uneven squat. Other side. You keep your weight if it's feeling good. I'm listening to my body. Woo! This is challenging for me today. Three, two, one, All right, here we go. Back to that other side. Oh, that's better. That's better. Ooh, getting in as many as we can. Squat curtsies are coming up next. Three, two, one. Yes. Squat curtsies. Woohoo! On the floor with your weight if you can today. With your weight. All right. Again, just take the leg diagonal, keeping the hips forward. You want to try to get that front leg as 90 degrees, as 90, de as 90 degree as you possibly can. So step back diagonally, drive through the front heel. Ooh, uneven squat. Other side. Whew. Yes, yes. Three, two, one, <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Drive through those heels. Come on. Woohoo! <laughs> You're almost there. Three, two, one. Recover. Woo, recover. Okay. Lunges coming up. Option, you can place the front foot on top of your bench for a little extra something something. Otherwise, you can keep it on the floor. And if you're going to go with the weight, grab a single weight. And you're going to hold it with the opposite hand. So I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to try the bench to begin and then my weight will be in the left hand we're gonna go three on each or three on one side burn it out and then we'll switch if you would rather alternate that leg go for it but we're gonna try to burn that out on that single side 
All right, let's get that right foot on the bench so we're ready, making sure that heel's all the way up there. The back knee and toe is forward. Woo! We're ready to go. Three, two, one, go! All right, roll those shoulders back, shoulders above those hips, and we're going straight up and down. Drive through that front heel, and I'm already feeling it in the glute, so you should be feeling in that glute. Of course, the quad's working as well. And down as far as you can. At any time, you can bring it to the floor if you're not already there. Three, two, one, Woo. press. All right, first one wasn't too bad. We're sticking to that same side. All right, let's get ready. My dog's looking at me like, are you okay? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm not, Chiba. I'm not okay today. <laughs> I am struggling with these leg exercises for sure. Oh, I'm trying to think of what I did this week. Obviously legs. Ooh. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. One more time on this side. This 15 seconds is going by way too fast. <laughs> I needed an extra 15 seconds there. Here we go. Here we go. This is one of those uh, workouts where I got to get kind of out of my head. I got to dig in just a little deeper. <laughs> Woo! Pushing through. Oh, we get to switch sides. I'm so excited. All right, let's get ready. All right, get that form good on this first one. Take it a little slower. Make, every, make sure everything is in the right position. And we're going straight up and down like an elevator. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Two to go. All right. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, go! Woo, yes, we got this. It's only 30 seconds. No big deal. Three, two, one, press. Ooh. Okay, one more. We can do this. One more. Ooh, get ready. <laughs> I gotta make up for lost time. It took too long to get ready. Last one. This round. Oh, yes. Woo, take that minute break. We have deadlifts coming up. We're going to alternate those with calf raises. So have those weights ready to go if you're going to switch it out. Definitely can go heavy on those deadlifts as well as calf raises. Remember those deadlifts. 
feet are hip distance apart and you always have a bend to the knees. And I always like to think that there's a pull right here on my hips and I'm just bending right over that pull. The hips go back and you're gonna squeeze it right back up. Keeping that upper back as flat as we can, pulling those shoulder blades together. All right, let's get those feet hip distance apart. Make sure there's always Three, a bend two, to the knees. One, Slide that weight right along the legs, all the way back up. Like you got a broomstick or a big old piece of wood on your back. Making sure that that upper back doesn't round. All right, just calf raises, that's all. If you wanna come up to the top of your bench for those calf raises, you can and hang the heels off. Just know it's gonna be a little more balance work here. So really engage that core. Find a spot on the floor to focus on and try to get, ooh, try to get that full range of motion if you're gonna use the bench. I might have to go to the floor. Let's see how it goes. Get up to those tippy toes, press those heels forward. Ooh. <laughs> and try not to look around. All right, I'm gonna stay on my bench for my deadlift because I have my big old kettlebell. It's hitting the floor, so I know I can go a little bit deeper. If you can go a little bit deeper, you can also use your bench. Three, two, one, go. But also just remember that the goal is to not hit the floor. So don't round the upper back just so that you can touch the floor. But if you need that extra height to get a little deeper, go for it. Ooh, yeah. Keep those knees bent. Three, two, one, press. All right, calf raises coming up. I'm gonna go to the floor. <laughs> Three, My balance two, one, go. is a little off today. But definitely stay on that bench if you want a little challenge. This is our last song of strength. After this, we're gonna come down to the floor. So, think about where your mat is. You're gonna need to grab it. And you can actually put your bench to the side or away after this song. We'll be down on the floor. Three, two, one, press. All right, deadlifts. Do, 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 do. Roll those shoulders back. Three, two, one, Let's go. At the top, you can squeeze the glutes, but you don't necessarily need to push the hips forward at all. Just squeeze. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, calf raise is coming up. All right. You're ready. Keep that weight if you can. Three, two, one, go. I'm just giving my back a little bit of a break. But definitely keep that weight if it feels good. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As many as you can get in. Burn those little babies out. Recover. Ooh, recover. I didn't know that was going to be our last one. Awesome. Okay, weight, bench can go out of the way. And then we're going to grab our mat. We're going to be down on the floor. 
We're going to start in a plank position. Plank position. We are going to alternate tap outs with the feet. You can, of course, be on your knees. You can be in a forearm plank or up on the hands. But the toes will just tap out to the side. Keep your range of motion tiny. And then we're going to alternate that with just a basic crunch. So you're going to be flipping and flopping like a little fish on this one. The planks are going to be first. Get ready. All right. Wrists or elbows underneath those shoulders. If you want to get ready, you can be on the knees for right now. And you can always come up to those toes. Three, two, one, All right. Go. So just a small tap to the side. Bring it back. Tap it out to the side. This is it. Now, as we go along, if this is starting to become too challenging, just hold the plank. Keep your neck neutral. And of course, at any time, we can always drop down to our knees and modify plank. We're still working. Good. Flip on over. Basic crunch. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I taught a uh, hit core class last night. So I'm already uh, feeling, Three, two, one, go. feeling this one today too. Oh. <laughs> All right, with that basic crunch, we want to press our lower back into the floor. Exhale as you rise up slightly, tuck your chin towards your chest. Keep your elbows wide if you have your hands behind your head. Making sure that we're not pulling on the neck. Three, two, one, press. All right, we got to flip back over. We have that plank again. Alternating tap outs. Elbows or wrists underneath the shoulders. Three, two, one, go. So again, you can be on the knees. And then just tap the foot out to the side. Woo! <laughs> Doing the best I can today. I have to hold the plank. You keep tapping your feet out. Yes. All right. Crunches. Crunches. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. We got this. What is this our third set already? Fourth set? Fourth set. <sighs> one more of each coming up. We get to move on. Oh, we have to flip over one more time. Two more times. <laughs> flip over for that plank. Oh. We got it. We got it. Okay, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Get a nice strong plank. Tap those toes out if that feels good. Doesn't matter how many you get in. Do the best you can. Try not to get the hips up too high, and also don't let those hips sink to the floor. Nice long line. We send the neck down to those heels. Three, two, one, press. Woo! Okay. Flip over to your back. We get to stay on our back from now on. We'll have one more song, and we'll be on our backs the whole time. Basic crunch. Three, two, here we go. One, go. Last 30 seconds here. Yes, 
Yes, almost there. Three, two, one, recover. Woo! Go ahead, extend your arms and legs. Reach for the opposite sides of the room. Give it a good stretch. We're going to hang out here and enjoy this minute break in between. Our next two exercises to end us for today. I call them L claps. So the legs coming into an L and we're going to try to clap behind the legs. We're going to try to bring those palms of our hands together and alternate. Now, of course, you can keep the upper body on the floor and then try to tap the hands behind. And you can also bend the knees, alternate heel taps. So you just find that modification that works for you if you need that. Second exercise, we're going to do twist crunch. We're going to bring our knees to our elbows. And of course, we can always keep the feet on the floor and just do a twist crunch. That is it. Woo, get ready. Three, two, one, I talked us all the way through that minute break. That was fast. Okay, so if you're going to keep the legs straight and you're coming into this crunch for those L claps, try to get both shoulder plates off the floor and don't let them come back down. Connect that breath. Three, two, one, press. Woo! Yes, twist crunches. Alrighty, if we can, bringing that knee and elbow to meet in the middle. Hands behind the head. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. Twist, pushing that lower back to the floor. Exhale as that knee and elbow come up to meet in the middle. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, you can stretch in between. We got those L claps coming up. Let's get ready to go. As fast as you can go. Ooh, can you get up a little higher? We got it. Feeling those abs burn, burn, burn. Oh my gosh! Twist crunches! Alright, hands by the head. Let's go! Okay, one more of each, right? Yes, one more of each. We got this. I'm looking forward to stretching. <laughs> okay, Three, two, last one, 30 go. seconds of these L claps. We got it. We're going to get in like eight more than last time. Yes, because we're going to go fast. Push it to the end. Woo! Enjoy the burn. Twist crunches, last 30 seconds. We're going to get in six more than we did last time. Hands behind the head. Three, two, one, Here we go. go. A little quicker. A little quicker.
right up to the end. Three, two, one, recover. Okay, we gotta flip over so we can stretch these abs out. I know mine are tight. So elbows underneath those shoulders, press your hips to the floor, arch the back, and look up. Oh, yeah. Birdie bird. We're going to hold here for about three or four more deep breaths. I need this today. All right, one more deep breath, and let's stay on the floor today. Go ahead and flip back over. Once you're there, Bring your left leg up for a hamstring stretch. I'm just going to put some cool down music on. Three, three, two. All right, so you got that left leg up for that hamstring stretch. And then we're just going to take that ankle, cross it over. Ooh, press the knee away from the knee. Reach through that behind that right hamstring and pull the knee towards the chest. You can use your elbow to press that left knee away from the body a little more. Alrighty, both feet back on the floor. Take that right leg up for that hamstring stretch. Go ahead, cross that leg over and reach through for that hip and glute stretch. All right, release out of that, roll to one side. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to do a quad stretch. So the bottom arm can reach up so you can rest your head, bottom knee, bend it. And then just grab that top ankle, pull the heel towards the glute, or, yeah, towards the glute. And slightly squeeze your glutes so you can press the hips forward a little. Feel that in that quad. Alrighty, flip to the other side. Alright, release out of that and just press yourself up into a sitting position. Cross those legs. Let's do a sitting cat cow. So hands on the knees, inhale, pull the shoulder blades together, look up, and exhale, tuck your chin to chest, round that upper back. Inhale. And exhale. Come on back to center. Just keep those shoulders relaxed. Uh, drop your ear from shoulder to shoulder. Sometimes in those crunches, you get some tension up into that neck. One more time, and then full neck rotation, one direction. And reverse. Alright, bring it back to center. Let's just roll the shoulders back a couple times too. One more. And then side to side bend. So we're going to reach over. We're going to think about pressing that opposite hip to the floor. And reach on over to the other side. And those twists in there. Had a lot of rotation today. Switch the other side one more time. And last one, up and over. Back to center. 
in. One more deep breath. Inhale up. And exhale. Good job.